That was wonderful. That was like beyond the, I, th I knew it was going to be a good outing, but that was beyond my expectations. That was really good. That was nice. I remember why I like friends. <laughs> Today is such a lazy, quiet day. I'm just not into doing much. <laughs> not anything outside anyway. So I'm going to be inside for the duration of the day. And I hope to entertain you guys with the things that I'll be doing I'm going to be knitting and playing violin and exercising and playing with the animals inside. I'm just not into doing very much in the heat. It's just going to be an inside day, kind of a rest day and a relaxing day. So I hope you enjoy the entertainment. Sarah, what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Everybody loves you. Everybody wants you to wake up. <laughs> Tonight we're making like a fix your own pasta sort of thing. Like Wes is, uh, you know, he's providing the noodles and all the toppings and all the different ways that you can make your own pasta and different stuff you can put on it, but you got to make it yourself. So we provide the ingredients and everybody can make their own pasta. So right now I'm in charge of the sauteing onions. And they smell fabulous. Wes already sauteed up these cherry tomatoes. I'm just letting these onions sweat and cook down a little bit. Mmm, getting hungry. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, big family. <laughs> it's the next day, obviously. We are awake and alive, much more awake and alive than I was yesterday. I have my nice, just relaxing, chill, just do what I want day. Yeah. I did a lot of... Yeah, you uh, don't look like a zombie this morning. <laughs> we played instruments, practiced all of our instruments. I did some knitting, watched some videos, just had a chillax day at home. But now, now it's time to go outside and sweat some more. So let's get it.
Okay, so scratch that. I will not have enough time to come out here and sweat. I had to change my shirt and get on just a nicer shirt and clean myself up a little bit um, because I actually have a luncheon to go to today. I totally forgot and spaced it until just now. Um, I'll take you along with me and show you all the place and maybe they'll be okay with me filming them for a second. <laughs> Some people are okay with it. Some people are not. Um, but I do have just enough time to run out to the greenhouse here real quick just to spritz my plants and water the seedlings just a little bit because they need it this morning. They got to have it. It's got to be done. All right, that's done. Now I got to cool off and like make myself stop sweating so much. <laughs> and then I can go to this luncheon and then I'll be back and then I can sweat a lot more and work hard a lot more. So um, let's go to the luncheon. Y'all ready? Now I'm not usually a social person uh, per se. I just... I'm not for some reason. I love people um, in general. I just, um, I have very low social needs, if that makes sense. I don't need to hang out with that many people. I don't need to have that many close friends. I don't need to see people very often. I'm just more of a loner, you know? I like, uh, I play in my garden. I spend time in my house with my family and that like, that pretty much satisfies my social needs for the for the majority of it you know it's nice to see people like at church or in town when I go to the grocery store and I wave and I say hi but I don't need a lot a whole lot of social companionship and I've always been that way I've just kind of not had that much need for that um, so that's always been a struggle for me um, in terms of when people want to hang out with me or do things with me or spend time with me you know Wes is always trying to tell me Angie you need you need people like you need to go see people he has to he has to remind me to get out and have that social experience you know when I'm being too much of a hermit and shut myself away for too long he's always like come on Angie come on you need to go talk to your friend you need to text your friend you need to call your friend he has to give me those cues and reminders to um be a part of the outside world or <laughs> I think without him I might just like be a little hobbit shut away from the rest of the world and just I don't know uh live by myself with my animals in my garden <laughs> so I might be the weird cat lady in the woods I don't know but um so I have to I have to kind of remind myself to do that now and then so that's kind of what this is about a friend reached out to me and she wanted to do lunch and it has turned into two friends meeting me at lunch, which is good. I like both these women. I really want to st remain and stay good friends with these women. So I have to remind myself to actually be seen and show myself and have a presence uh, with them and to actually make an effort to maintain the relationship. I can't just have a habit of like assuming that the relationship will just maintain itself and it, and it won't. You have to kind of like work on relationships you have to maintain them so I um, got to prompt myself to to do this even though this is like uncomfortable for me it's kind of weird for me I don't I don't do lunch I don't go to lunch with people so it's, it's a little odd it's a little outside my comfort zone but it's gonna be a good thing it's gonna be a growing experience it's gonna stretch me as a person it, it's gonna be all good things so um, how bad could it be it's lunch with two friends of mine they're really nice women it's gonna be a great time great food a great experience and I get to come home and, and go back to life as I know it and, and put my head down and work hard again um, so this is me doing what I need to do to stay mentally healthy and here we are at this lovely cafe in Thomasville it's called Southern Grounds I've never been here before but it's supposed to be really good it's like a coffee shop cafe it's so pretty I love these plants Oh, that's lovely. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so here's my friends. There's Miss Brenda and there's Miss Lynette. What'd y'all get? Whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they got the same thing I did. It was amazing because look, it's bacon, gone. Yeah. Bacon egg panini. There we go. Bacon egg panini and drinks. And this is so good. I actually liked it. It was really, really tasty. Look in the different rooms later. Yeah. So yeah, after we eat, we get to walk around and look in different rooms and they have upstairs. We're going to go explore. But I think this is a win. This is a wonderful place. <laughs> yeah, good. You like it, Brenda? Yeah. It's, it's a win? Great. Yeah. Wonderful. I would definitely recommend y'all come and check it out if you want to. This is a really good place to eat.
the azalea room. Nice. What does that say? The magnolia room. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Some really old antiques. Yeah, that's beautiful. And this is another dining area. Oh, I've seen this a lot. Coffee. Christ offers forgiveness for everyone, everywhere. I like that. Look at these pretty pretties. I need to get me some honey before I leave here. Y'all just remind me to get some honey. <laughs> Lovely goodies. Yum, yum. I want to go upstairs if we're allowed to. I want to go see. I do love my house, but I wouldn't mind having a house like this. <laughs> I would hang plants everywhere. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Rules. Must be 12 or older. Choose door hanger or a canvas. Use template from vanilla folder. Get paint and fill jar with water in the restroom near stairs. Get paper plate for paint. Black carbon paper from wardrobe. Heat round desired background color. Blow dry with dryer. Face black carbon paper face down on wood. Place paper template on top of carbon paper and trace with pencil. Paint your creation and find your happy place. Please wash brushes. Throw all trash away and leave room clean. Leave clean brushes in restroom. All right. <laughs> That's lovely. I like that. That's beautiful. Oh, and this is where they store all the chairs. Oh, this used to be a paint room. Oh, okay. This is the paint room. projects and arts, and they had all these um, uh, ground cover. Uh, yeah, and I just like saw paint. the rules for the painting. Yeah, yeah. right there. There's oh, a list of rules. It all up here. Wow. That's sad. So they must be doing something else. Okay. But yeah, this was like a fun little artsy side. Mm -hmm. And this was like the teenage Yeah, the game side. room. Okay. My daughter would have loved this. <laughs> Sarah would have loved the painting. And all the other girls would have loved hanging out in the game room. <laughs> what does that say? Oh, the nook. <laughs> That's a cute name. Yep, this would have been the hangout spot, I'm telling you. They would have loved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now us ladies have all decided to go to the local library, the wonderful half museum, half library I told you all about. And we're just going to browse through the books and see what we can see. I love all this history. That is awesome. I want one of those. <laughs> Right? Echo. Mm hmm. And then the Times. I think it's what it is now. Wes would have too much fun trying to make that work again. <laughs> trying to use it. <laughs> My grandmother had one of these in her house. I remember playing with it with the dials. I would always turn the dials and pretend like I was calling somebody. We didn't have one of those, though. I saw it in old films, so we didn't have that. <laughs> when I grew up, and it wasn't that long ago, we had a party line. And there were four other families on, and there were a lot of girls in our family, and uh -huh. a lot of people would pick up the phone to find out what the girls were doing. Yeah, <laughs> to sneak. <laughs> but you had to wait till nobody was on. Right, in the days when you could listen in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bye, okay, bye guys. We're saying bye because we're done with the library. We're done with the luncheon. This was a great outing. We had fun. I'll see y'all back at the house. Bye. What a great outing guys. What a great luncheon. That was so good. I just came home and just relaxed and <laughs> hey, big family. regrouped with the family. Good Stood, job, baby. I'm so proud of you. He's proud of me for going and socializing. So am I. That was wonderful. That was like beyond the, I, th I knew it was going to be a good outing, but that was beyond my expectations. That was really good. That was nice. I remember why I like friends. <laughs> I remember why I like going out and seeing people and going to lunch and being invited to things. That was so kind of them to invite me and spend time with me. Thank you, Lynette and Brenda. That was a good time. Um, I'm going to have to think of some more like fun things that us ladies can go do and get away from home for a little while. Just forget about worries and cares and just go have fun somewhere and go browse and do what we want to do. So thank you guys for coming along to the luncheon with me and enjoying it with me. Um, I'll see you guys outside in the garden soon. Love you. Bye.